We want to prove that the angle subtended by an arc at the centre of a circle is twice the angle subtended at any point on the circumference. First we draw a circle and mark the centre. We then choose two points on the circumference below the centre and one point on the circumference above the centre. We draw a line connecting each point below the centre to the centre itself and to the point on the circumference above the centre. We label the angle at the centre, I've used A, and the angle at the circumference, I've used B. In symbols, we want to prove that A equals 2B. We add a radius to form two isosceles triangles. So we draw a line from the centre to the point on the circumference above the centre. This is a radius, as are the other two lines from the centre to the circumference. Because all radii in the same circle are equal, two isosceles triangles have been formed. Because each small triangle is an isosceles triangle, they must each have two equal angles, the two angles not at the centre. And we have labelled these W and Y with the angles at the centre X and Z. The sum of angles inside any triangle is 180 degrees. Therefore, 2w plus x equals 180 degrees and 2y plus z equals 180 degrees. So we can rearrange this to get x equals 180 minus 2w and z equals 180 minus 2y. We also know that the angles around a point equal 360 degrees. So a plus x plus z equals 360 degrees. Therefore, 180 minus 2w plus 180 minus 2y plus a equals 360 degrees. Consequently, 360 minus 2w minus 2y plus a equals 360 degrees. So a minus 2w minus 2y equals 0. As a result, a equals 2w plus 2y, and therefore a equals 2 times w plus y. Using the fact that w plus y equals b, we can conclude that a equals 2b, and have proven that the angle subtended by an arc at the centre of a circle is twice the angle subtended at any point on the circumference.